Hey everyone, it's Maria here. Welcome back to another video after a much needed holiday break. I hope you've been doing well. Today I want to talk about some post-holiday skin recovery tips. I think we all need them. This is usually a topic that I talk about before the holidays, right? Because we're not at work and I always think it's a good time during the holidays to give yourself, um, your skin a break um, and yourself a break. However, I think that after the holidays, it's also really great to review that and think about all the things that, you know, we did and didn't do over the holidays. What did we drink? What did we eat? Um, et cetera. And now that all that is done to think about how we can, you know, get the skin to recover and take a break now that everything is a little bit more quiet. So let's get to the tips. If you are new to my channel, my name is Maria and I'm a makeup artist and green beauty expert. My product-based business just celebrated five years um, in the fall and I'm very proud of what I do. I'm here to help you streamline your skincare needs, um, especially if you are over 40. I'm in my mid-40s and I do that through services like makeup uh, lessons, consultations and also a curated shop that started out with four brands, four Canadian brands, and now supports more than 20 female-owned Canadian brands from coast to coast. So uh, I'm not a dermatologist, but I have been in the beauty industry, in the spa, uh, film and retail world for a couple of decades, and I'm here to share all that knowledge with you. My business started out, um, you know, when my youngest son was a toddler and I did that because I wanted to find a solution for his eczema. He's now eight years old and his skin looks amazing and we took care of that with natural um, solutions. All right. So thank you so much for being here. If you're new, welcome. I can't wait to share my knowledge with you. So the reason that I think we need these tips is that the holidays are such a busy time for many of us. I know a lot of us are not at work, but it doesn't mean that we do less. So I actually, um, you know, went out west to pick up my mom and then bring her back uh, to Toronto for the holidays. And I, it was just so busy, you know, hanging out with her, reconnecting. It was a really amazing time. But then I was also thinking about all the things that I couldn't do for myself that I do on the days that I'm on my own. The kids are at school um, and I work from home. So, you know, the, you know, just getting the things done, getting her ready to come over here, doing the shopping, um, getting everything organized. And, um, you know, the, you know, there are all the things that, you know, we're eating and drinking because it's that festive time of year, you know, um, eggnog lattes, anyone over here? Yes. Baileys with coffee. Yes. But it's also, um, you know, the fact that all those things that kind of like we're not doing for me, it's yoga or meditation can show up on our faces. So if I haven't exercised, if I haven't taken that time for myself, if I haven't had um, a moment to be alone, um, it can definitely show in my face, all right? So just like, you know, the little lines start getting kind of like deeper and I know it's a, it's supposed to be a relaxing time of year, but sometimes it's not. So I hope you feel me. The first tip that I want to give you is about hydration. Um, because we are so busy and because there are all these like really delicious warm beverages, um, you know, I think that uh, we drink less water or it's like less in our kind of, uh, you know, front up front of mind, I guess, because there's so many other things to do. So hydration internally and externally for the skin are so important. The other thing is that for us here in Toronto, um, we've had a really mild winter so far, lots of rain. Um, there is no snow on the ground. So um, it has been really mild. And you might be thinking, yeah, okay, well, I it's mild. I can do less to my skin. However, now I think that the weather is actually turning. So combined with, uh, you know, the time being inside the house, hosting, entertaining, the drinks, and all the other things, 
the heat being on and us being inside, um, it's really important to think of that. So hydration. Now, uh, one of the easiest tips is just to up your, uh, you know, your water intake. So if you forgot over the holidays, I understand. So try to do it now. One of my tips is to keep a glass of water or a jug in every room of the house. So I'm in the bedroom right now um, and I always have a full glass of water in the bedroom. Whenever I see it, I drink it. There's also a really easy uh, calculation to do for how much water you need. So let's say you're 120 pounds, you divide that by two, which would be 60, and you need about 60 ounces of water for your weight. Um, you don't have to, I mean, drink all that, get as close to that as possible. Um, and the other thing that I would bring in, and it's one of my favorites, are fresh juices. If you look up and you just Google uh, a detox juice for the skin um, online, one of the first things that's going to pop up is celery. So one of my first, um, you know, I guess top choices for a juice in the morning would be celery, half a lemon and apple. So you don't have to do the apple. You can also just drink the celery straight up. Um, how much celery? I think I usually do about four stalks and then I'll throw in there an apple and half a lemon. And it's so refreshing. It's so amazing. It's so detoxifying. And celery has uh, so much, you know, water content. It's amazing for the skin. And so is the lemon. Um, the apple, you know, I throw that in there because it helps it taste a little bit better. But if you love, um, you know, the taste of celery, you can do that on its own. So start your day with a big glass of that. Very simple, two ingredients, celery and lemon. And if you want to bring in the apple, you can. So that would be some, you know, internal hydration, which is wonderful for the skin. On the outside, okay, so uh, our skin needs hydration, of course, on the outside. And if you have not had the time to take care of your skin during the busy holiday time, you need to start kind of being a lot more, you know, conscious with what you're using on your skin. A moisturizer is great. It's um, It offers protective qualities, emollients. It offers some hydration. So definitely you should be using a moisturizer. It doesn't matter who you are. You need at least a moisturizer in your skincare routine. However, if you want to increase the um, hydration on your skin, you need to look into a hyaluronic serum and probably a mist. Now, the mist is just... Nice to have. I keep it, you know, handy um, when I'm working. It can be applied uh, before and after makeup. Okay, to add that hydration to your skin, you can just tap it in. And then when you're doing your skincare ritual, you need to bring in a serum. There are a few serums, um, water serums, what I call them in my shop. There's ones by Helena Lane. Um, the Full Moon Serum by Graydon is gorgeous. And if you want something a little bit more targeted that will offer hydration um, and also vitamin C, for example, um, there is something like that as well. So the whole point of the serums are that, you know, they are super light and mostly clear um, and you need to have something in there that hydrates hyaluronic acid aloe vera juice um, look at the ingredients okay so not an oil you need a serum something watery fast absorbing apply it on your skin and if your skin drinks it up right away apply a little bit more you'll get to a point where you might need less but at the beginning if your skin is really dehydrated and thirsty from all the fun things that you did over the holidays that would be um you know one to increase for sure my second tip is not about bombarding your skin with more products i know it's so easy to think like that or oh, we just need more we just need more but it's all about letting your skin breathe there's a few different ways that you can do that um, you can like just wear less product um, keep it simple you can uh, stay you know away from makeup you don't have to put it on at all let your skin breathe from that um, and I understand that many of us are back at work um, you know in person perhaps virtually and you still feel like you have your you should have your face on so that's fine but I want you to cleanse as soon as you get home or your work is done so remove the day immediately so let's say you're home at 4 p.m 5 p.m cleanse your face. You're going to wash your hands, do it at the same time, cleanse your skin as well, and leave it bare. 
um, completely bare for a little bit, you know, maybe a couple hours um, so it can breathe. You can continue with your nighttime skincare before bed, do a little mist, get it damp again, and then apply your evening skincare. So let your skin breathe, even if it's for a couple of hours every day. I love my skincare, you know I do, but letting your skin breathe is also very important. If it's challenging for you to do that during the day, think about cleansing your skin with the luxurious oil cleanser that won't strip the, you know, the skin, um, your skin like oils. Uh, so an oil cleanser would be best for that. And then you do nothing else after. Just go to sleep. Now, my third tip would be to exfoliate with caution. A lot of people overdo it with scrubs and exfoliants, leaving their skin susceptible to the environment, to infections, and stripping that protective uh, skin barrier. So exfoliation can be amazing for the skin, especially if you have dry, dead skin that you kind of want to remove. However, the method that you use is very important. So there are two different types of exfoliants. One is a physical, one that has more grit, um, and it can be you know, made with a variety of ingredients from crushed nut cells to nut shells, sorry, to um, microbeads, etc. And then there is the chemical exfoliant, which would be an exfoliant with acids, all right? Now, acids are not acids that like burn off your skin. We're talking about like lactic acid or glycolic acid. These products are more gentle on your skin. There is nothing physical about them. They don't exfoli exfoliate they exfoliate with fruity acids, um, and they do that in a kind of like a non-invasive way, I would say. So again, you need to listen to your skin and see uh, how your skin likes this type of product. Um, the La Spa one is a great one that I use in my shop. It's um, refillable, comes in a little pump that you press, and you would just apply it on your skin at night, leave your skin bare, and then you go to sleep gauge how it's doing, and then decide if you're going to follow up with that once more. And as your skin becomes um, acclimated, you can increase the, you know, the frequency. I love those types of um, exfoliants because they are multi-purpose. It's not just for dry skin, but it's for discoloration, hyperpigmentation, dark spots. Um, it, they keep your skin clear. And um, what I love about them, other than the fact that it's like 100% naturally sourced um, ingredients is that you, when you wear it in the winter, you can be a little bit more, um, you know, like have easy mind when you wear it because as they make your skin a little bit photosensitive, it's harder to use this type of product in the summer. So the winter is definitely a great time to use it. And then you can take a break and then start it again next month, um, and then take a break again in the summer. So think about exfoliation without scrubbing, without any harsh ingredients, without any harsh beads, shells, anything like that, that can actually create micro tears on your skin and strip your barrier to such a point that then, you know, you're just going to have to work so hard to get it back. Um, when you're heading outside, you need to be protected uh, from the environment. And that's what our skin does. It's an organ. It creates those nice oils and it has that um, barrier on the top that helps us, you know, protect it. So just be very mindful about how you're scrubbing and what you're scrubbing with. And my last tip would be to nourish with an oil. I know that a lot of people can feel oily. However, the winter is not really a time when that happens. And if that is happening to you, let's look at something else. Like, why is your skin doing that? For everyone else, especially those with mature skin, I'm in my mid 40s, um, we are definitely feeling more dry as time goes on and we get older, but also from environmental factors, especially in the winter and especially being indoors um, and being indoors after the holidays, um, you know, where, you know, perhaps you sat in front of the fireplace or the heat was cranked high and you took it easy, but you're still inside the house and the environment inside the house is very drying. I hope that you're running a humidifier when you sleep. I hope you're running one in your house to add some moisture. So if you are feeling dry, even 
a little bit, I would recommend bringing in a face oil. If you have a moisturizer that you love, fantastic. Add a couple drops of your oil right into your moisturizer, mix it up. Otherwise, you can also cleanse at night, keep it all very simple, leave your skin damp, and then apply the oil on top. I feel like a lot of skincare lacks nutrients, and even though it can feel great temporarily, it doesn't actually stay on our skin. It like disappears. You can feel dry again, um, you know, half an hour or an hour later. So a way to boost that um, and to help with that would be to bring in an oil. You can, you know, cleanse with an oil. Um, you can add a couple drops after cleansing, push it into your skin, leave it you know, bare otherwise. So nice occlusive layer, protective, um, gives you those, uh, you know, vitamins and um, fatty acids that your skin is craving at this time of year and uh, helps protect it from the environment when you go outside. Of course, an SPF would be important too if you are someone who goes, you know, out with your kids and stays at the park for an hour, someone who, you know, walks the dog frequently. If you're a skier, if you are an active person outside, especially when there's snow on the ground and you get that reflection, you really need to have um, an SPF, okay? So some lovely SPFs in my store with different textures. Um, let me know at any point if you're shopping um, what your skin craves and what your skin prefers, and I can direct you to the right product. Sometimes shopping for these things can be overwhelming because there are so many choices. Uh, I have personally curated my shop in such a way that products don't compete with each other. There are SPFs that feel a little bit heavier for people who are feeling dry. And there are, you know, SPFs like the consonant one who go on mat and they're not, um, I don't want to say heavy, but not as um, emollient or moisturizing. So the point is to let your skin breathe. And if you're outside more than 15, 20, that's when you need the SPF. Otherwise, my goodness, we all need vitamin D. Just go outside and, you know, face the sun for a few minutes and it's okay to do that. Okay, everyone, so just a quick one for today. Thank you for hanging out um, and checking out my channel over the holidays. Um, you know, that break that I took was so needed and uh, I was so grateful to be able to have that time with my mom and not have to worry about creating new content. Sometimes it's just so um, overwhelming to, to be here all the time, although I love being here. Um, and it's nice to have a break to get those creative juices flowing. All right. So if you want to check out my website, you can find me at greenbeautycurator.ca. I'm also on Instagram at greenbeautycurator, um, Facebook, greenbeautycurator. Um, go check out my shop. There's lots of blog topics. There's one for giving your skin a break. I'm going to link that below and all the products that I mentioned on here today. Please love this video, like it, subscribe, and I'll catch you here with the next one. Thank you so much.